Thanks, Mike. You know, there's a website whose mission is to provide citizens, government employees, and police officers the forum to report corruption and criminal misconduct. Here to tell us about it is Randy Sutton from Search for Justice. Randy, glad to have you here. Thanks for having me. Uh, explain your website a little bit because it's making a stir out east. It is indeed. Um, searchforjustice.us is the name of the website and it's devoted to creating uh, the ability for, for police officers, for government workers, or for even people involved in the corporate industry to report corruption or uh, criminal misconduct. And uh, it, it gives people the um, well, it, it's kind of like a spotlight on courage, mm -hmm. because people that have the guts to come forward and report corruption, they need to be celebrated instead of vilified. Now, you're a retired police officer, Metro yes. Police Force. You've written books, several books, actually. Correct. I, three, I believe. And you know a lot about what goes into police work. I do. How can people get onto this website and tell their story and hopefully get some help? Well, there's a um, there's several uh, aspects to the website. First of all, there is the first report that I've done which exposed uh, uh, an entire police administration's corruption right outside of Washington, D.C. And it was a police chief and, uh, and several of his superior officers uh, involved in a, in a wide-scale corruption issue. And then four honest cops who tried to come forward and do something about it had their careers and their personal lives destroyed right. by them. And so there, there is the, the, that report is on the website. There's also an area where people can go onto the website, report corruption either anonymously or uh, uh, where I will act as a conduit. Mm -hmm. uh, many people don't want to come forward because they're afraid of getting involved. Certainly. Um, I can act as a conduit for them. And, and, and since the website's been up, which has only been two and a half weeks, I've had over 4,000 visits and 10 leads uh, about corruption around the country. Now is this a bulletin board type thing because the very nature of police work tells us that there are going to be some people who are justifiably unhappy with the police and Correct. some people who are just are just you know bemoaning the fact that they got busted. Right and, and you know um, most of the reports that I've gotten um, are really not about corruption per se it's more of a uh, people that are that are angry about something that happened to them and on so the is, job. Is that public, publicly posted no, so everybody not. can see it? Okay, so so if you have a complaint or, or you have some actual corruption, send it into the website, it will be gleaned by you before Correct. anything becomes public. Okay. Correct. The only time it will be made public is if I do a complete investigation mm -hmm. and then I expose it on the website. Otherwise, I will either act as a conduit to take that information to the proper um, law enforcement authority or I will work uh, in concert with other journalists to expose it. I got you. Okay, once again, the name of the website as we look at it, searchforjustice.us. That's correct. Okay, and Randy Sutton, like I said, uh, 24 years on the Metro Police Force, just retired. Yes, indeed. And uh, you're on to bigger and better things and a little bit of investigative journalism, if you will. That's, that's correct. All right, Randy, thanks for being here. Thanks. Thanks, Casey. Lisa. All right. Everybody is crunching.